and it looks like it's going to have to be modified straight out of the packet, so it's what's unusual about that. All right, we out here. Um, I'm waiting on the crush washer for the diff rebuild, so I thought I would modify the uh, mounts. Now the mounts for the diff are actually over here, they're tiny. And the kit that I got comes with 500 mil worth of polyurethane. Um, so there's going to be a lot wasted if I just do these. So I thought I'd have a go at some spare engine mounts. Um, and I looked online about how to do this. And they said just uh, take the, uh, open up these holes so that the urethane can go through. But I'm going to take that a step further. And any material that I can get rid of, I'm going to. So that I get more urethane than crappy old rubber in there. Um, and to do that I'm using the, mostly this thing, the air saw. The, the die grinder with this bit on it works pretty well, um, but it just throws dust everywhere and um, I'll use this to finish it, but this is better at taking the bulk of the material out. Um, just trying to use as much as that, of that uh, 500 mils as possible, because it's a waste. So here's all the mounts from the truck fully hollowed out as much as I can um, but still retaining those side pieces to keep the center located where they where it needs to be um, but I've done things like gone lower so even even here there'll be at least two mil of urethane depth um, yeah I could take more of this rubber out but I don't think it's gonna make a difference so, yep, yeah, we're ready for urethane. Well, after I leave these in the sun for a few hours. All right, so just got these set up, um, taped off the bottom. This one's probably the easiest one to show you. And then surrounded the center with hot glue to seal it up. Be easy to remove later. So they're ready to pour. All those. Clear urethane and the hardener here. These are already calculated to be 100 to 60 or 10 to 6 ratio um, so all I have to do is add this and then it will start going hard wow it doesn't smell very good and that's the kind of color we're going to get kind of a ready all right here goes nothing and that is all I'm getting out of that can What started off as pretty disastrous outside has actually turned out all right. There's bubbles in it, but it'll be okay. It's just a carry truck, as everyone always says. So yeah, now there's a 24 hour wait time before they can go in. All good. We're at the five hour mark and they're sort of turning a creamy white color which is kind of cool. This is my fan-forced oven idea. Um, it's pretty hot inside that box. I hope it works. I don't think it will though. So I've just got these on the balcony in the sun, trying to get them to set. Um, I think this is like day four or something. I'm beginning to think that I just didn't mix the urethane well enough. Um, and then they'll never set hard. So I guess I'll give it another day. I'm going out today so there's nothing I can do about it. But maybe if they're not hard by tomorrow then I'll just start digging the urethane out. And then buy another kit. And make sure I mix that one up a lot better. But, I mean, this is still, you can, it's still soft on the inside, so, whereas this one, this one's actually kind of not that soft. It's still a little bit soft, but not like that one. And this one, this one's just like jelly. Mm. Anyway, it is what it is now. It was bound to happen. 
engine mount update. It's been about four days, I think. Um, and as you can see, it's still mushy. So, contacted the seller of the urethane and he says that I didn't mix it properly. Um, I'm not sure how true that is, but it is what it is. So now I have to try and get all this out of here and then um, try again. I actually have some urethane thinner here. This is for using with car paint, um, but this isn't easy for me to get, so I'm supposed to only use it for painting. This will probably do it though. Okay, enter mount number two. Just took the tape off it. This one, this one's sort of semi hard. What's this like? Wax. Next is this one. This is actually pretty hard. On the bottom, on the top, it's still shit. Um, the other thing that the seller said was that if uh, if you use the colour, it's much easier to see if you've mixed it thoroughly. So definitely use the colour. Big potato, anybody? Or jagger butter, as they say in Japan. Is baked potato consistency. Or over like severely overcooked rice in some sections. What an absolute nightmare that was. I pretty much only uploaded it for historical value so that I could watch it in a year or two and go, oh yeah, I remember that horrible day. Or well, four days. I ended up ordering new mounts. That is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next one. If you enjoyed the show, leave a comment. Let me know about it. If you'd like to support the channel, head on over to the Garage K Facebook page and click the Shop Now tab. You can pick up one of my limited edition handmade key rings. Or sign my door with spray paint. Thanks for the support. See you in the next one. Later.